back answers. Take page number 33. Choose the best answer. First one. Which of the following has curved reflecting surface? The answer is B. Spherical mirrors. Second one. The spherical mirrors with a reflecting surface curved inwards is called concave mirror. Third one. The spherical mirror used as a rear view mirror in the vehicle is convex mirror. Fourth one. The imaginary line passing through the center of curvature and pole of a spherical mirror is called principal axis. The answer is C. Fifth one. The distance from the pole to the focus is called focal length. The answer is B. Sixth one, if the image and the object distance is same and the object is placed at, answer is D, at C. Seventh one, if the focal length of the spherical mirror is 10 cm, what is the value of its radius of curvature? Na? 20 cm. The answer is C. Next one, fill in the blanks. The spherical mirror used in a beauty parlor as makeup mirrors is concave mirror. Second one, geometric center of the spherical mirror is pole. Third one, nature of the images formed by the convex mirror is small, virtual and erect. Fourth one, the mirror used by the op Ophthalmologist to examine the eye is concave mirror. Fifth one, if the angle of incidence is 45 degree, then the angle of reflection is 45 degree. Sixth one, if an object is placed between two mirrors which are parallel to each other, the number of images formed is 3. Next one, match the following convex mirror. Rear view mirror, parabolic mirror, radio telescopes, Snell's law and the sin i bar sin r equal to u. Dispersion of light, dispersion of light rainbow, refracting index, kaleidoscope. The answer is 2, 1, 5, 3, 4. Next one, answer in briefly. First one, define focal length. The page number 24. Page number 24, the focal length under clear. Uh, the distance between the pole and the principal focus is called focal length. Bracket layer of a spherical mirror. This is the first question you know, the answer. Apro, in the focal length, radius of curvature by 2. In the formula, we will take the first question. Next, second question. Give any two applications of a concave and convex mirrors. Page number 26. The concave mirror clear concave mirror la idla ungalku two points a ninga eduth eludikalam five points kuduthirukanga ungalku pidichathu edho two points eduth eludikalam adha mari convex mirror la idlayum two points edhu venumo adla two point eduth eludikalam adla three points kuduthirukanga idhu 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 illaina idhu edhavadhu two points select pannikalam idhu vandha second question oda answer Next, third question. State the law of reflection. Page number 26. Third question. Uh, the last paragraph. The incident ray, the reflected ray and the normal at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane. The angle of incidence First one and the angle of reflection are, are always equal. This is the fourth question. Fourth question. Fourth Roman letter is third question. Sure. 
Next one, fourth question. Define the refractive index of a medium. Uh, page number 30. In the, in the last paragraph, the amount of refraction of light in a medium is denoted by a term known as refractive index of the medium, which is the ratio of the speed of light in the air to the speed of light in that particular medium. Other in the formula the speed of light in air C by the speed of light in the medium V in put it fourth question. Next one, fifth question. State Snell's law of refraction. Page number 31. The Snell's law. Snell's law of reflection. In the paragraph full on the Ngeldikano. Refraction of light rays as they travel from one medium to another medium obeys two laws, which are known as Snell's law of refraction. They are given below. The incident ray, the refracted ray, and the normal at the point of intersection all lie in the same plane. The ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence to the sine of the angle of refraction is equal to the refractive index of the medium, which is the constant. That is the formula. This is an important question. Next one, answer in detail. First one, explain the images formed by the concave mirror. Page number 25. Twenty five la in the last paragraph in the tablet column full layano. Position of the object, position of the image, image size, nature of the image. At infinity at F highly highly dimensioned, real and inverted. Beyond C between C and F dimensioned real and inverted. At C at C, same size as the object, real and inverted. Between C and F, beyond C, magnified, real and inverted. At F, at infinity, highly magnified, real and inverted. Between F and P, behind the mirror, magnified, virtual and erect. This is the first detail. Next one, second one, what is reflection? Write a short note on regular and irregular reflection. The page number 27. And then the page number 26. Uh, the, in the paragraph the second line. Le, a ray of light falling on a body having a shiny, polished and smooth surface alone is bounced back. The bouncing back of the light rays as they fall on the smooth, shiny and polished surface is called reflection. In the 26th page number, in the one paragraph, next thing is regular reflection. Regular reflection is when a beam of light... The collection of parallel rays falls on a smooth surface. It gets reflected. After reflection, the reflected rays will be parallel to each other. Here, the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection of each ray will be equal. Hence, the law of reflection is obeyed in the case and thus a clear image is formed. This reflection is called a regular reflection or a specular reflection. Example, reflection of light by a plane mirror and reflection of light from the surface of still water. This is regular reflection. In the diagram. In the diagram. Next one, irregular reflection. Irregular reflection in the case of a body having a 
rough or irregular surface each region of the surface is inclined at different angles when light falls on such a surface the light ray or reflected at different angles in this case the angle of incidence and angle of reflection of each idu varaikku detail 2 adu adu varaikku mudichittu indha diagram edhukku varanjikonu irregular reflection ku next one ipo paathavalaya and the second question reflection adu important question Next to third one, explain the working of periscope. Page number 29. In the paragraph key, there is a paragraph. Periscope. Periscope, you can see it full of it. You can see it in the diagram. The periscope is also the important question. Um, it uh, it is an instrument used for viewing uh, bodies or ship which are over and around another body or a submarine it is based on the principle of law of reflection of light it consists of a long outer case and uh, inside this case the mirrors or prism are kept at each end inclined at an angle of 45 degree light coming from the distant body falls on the mirror at the top of the end of the periscope and gets reflected virtually vertically downwards the light is reflected again by the second mirror kept at the bottom so as to travel horizontally and reach the eye of the observer in some complex periscopes optic fiber is used instead of mirrors for obtaining a higher resolution the distance between the mirror varies depending on the purpose the very good detail 3 in the diagram on the draw panikano next one fourth what is dispersion explain in detail page number 31 இந்த இதில் லாஸ்ட் பேராகிராஃபுக்கு இந்த பேராகிராஃபில் வந்து கீழே ஸ்பிளிட்டிங் ஆஃப் ஒயிட் லைட் இன்டு இட்ஸ் செவன் கான்ஸ்டியூன்ட் கலர்ஸ் த வேவ் லென்த் ஆன் பாசிங் த்ரூ ஏ டிரான்ஸ்பரண்ட் மீடியம் இஸ் நோன் எஸ் டிஸ்பர்சன் ஆஃப் லைட் இதில் ஒயிட் எஸ் டிஸ்பர்சன் அக்கருங்கிறத நம்ம கட் பண்ணிக்கணும் இட் இஸ் பிகாஸ் லைட் ஆஃப் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் கலர்ஸ் ப்ரெசன்ட் இன் ஒயிட் லைட் ஹேவ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் வேவ் லென்த் and the travel at different speed in a medium you know that in the you cut panirunga the reflection of light ray in a medium depends on its speed is very good detail 